Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter six, lesson 11, the finishing touch of chapter six, um, where we are just using the properties of mental math to solve, write our answer in simplest form. It's gonna be a cakewalk, don't worry, okay? This is number two, I just rewrote it, okay? So our smallest common denominator, our least common denominator for five and 10 is gonna be a 10. So I rewrote them, okay? Remember, we just multiplied things by two, and that one's already a 10, so it stayed the same, okay? Now, I'm going to, I'm gonna take our whole numbers, and I'm gonna put them over here, because I don't need them right now, and I don't wanna have to worry about them right now, okay? I will add those up later, okay? So. Now I just have two tenths, four tenths, and three tenths. Well, two plus four is six, plus three is nine, and then I keep my denominator. So I'm also going to share a little tidbit with you guys. When your only function is addition, I don't have subtraction, or multiplication, or division in here, only addition, you don't really need the parentheses, so I didn't bother putting them when I rewrote it. Okay, you don't have to add something first. If you're adding, it doesn't matter what order you add it in. Okay, so eight plus four is 12, plus three more is 15. 15 and nine tenths, guys. Okay, write your work down, show your work. Okay, all right. We are going to go on to number three in just a second. Okay. All right, now I'll go over to number three, okay? So again, between four and eight, our least common denominator is going to be eight. So I rewrote them using eight as the denominator, okay? Times two, times two, okay? These ones are already eight, so they stay, okay? So now you know how I got those, which you should already, okay? If you've been here for the rest of chapter six, Okay, I'm gonna take my whole numbers. One plus two plus five, one, two, five. And then I know that my denominator is going to be eight. So six plus three is nine, plus seven more is 16. Okay, I have one plus two is three, plus five is eight. Now, 16 is way bigger than eight, but I know that eight goes into 16 two times and that's evenly. So I need to add two to this eight, okay? That gives me 10. My answer is 10, okay? Write down the work, guys, okay? 16 over eight is equal to two, okay? So I added that two and got 10, okay? All right, you guys are gonna keep doing that through number nine, okay? We are going to Start on number 10 together. And it says Elizabeth rode her bike six and a half miles from her house to the library, then another two and two fifths miles from her friend Milo's house. If Carson's house is two and a half miles beyond Milo's house, how far will she travel from her house to Carson's house? So, so six and a half plus two and two fifths plus two and a half. Okay, so again, I'm gonna take my whole numbers and I'm gonna put them over on the side. Six, two, and two, okay? Common denominator between twos and fives is gonna be 10, right? So, to get from two to 10, I have to multiply by five. So when I multiply the top by five, I get five. To get from five to 10, I have to multiply by two. Again, with the five, okay? Okay, so now I just have to worry about these and then adding up my whole numbers and then making sure that these don't equal a whole another set of numbers, okay? So denominator is gonna stay 10. Five and four is nine plus five more is 14. Well, look, 14 over 10, 14 is bigger, so 10 goes into 14 one time. I'm just going to put that one there. I would have 
four left over and 10 is my denominator, okay? So now six plus two is eight, plus two more is 10, plus one is 11, but four over 10 I can reduce. So I'm still gonna have my 11, but two goes into four and two goes into 10. So two goes into four twice and two goes into 10 five times. 11 and two fifths of a mile. Okay. All right. Last one like these guys. We're gonna make it, don't worry. Okay. Son made a vegetable salad with two and three eighths pounds of tomatoes, one and a quarter pounds of asparagus, and two and seven eighths pounds of potatoes. How many pounds of vegetables did he use all together? Well, so we have two and three eighths plus one and one fourth plus two and seven eighths. Okay? So between four and eight, okay, my denominator is going to be eight. So I'm going to have two and three eighths because that's not going to change. Okay, to multiply or to get to eight, I have to multiply the four by two. So I need to multiply the top by two. So I'm going to have one and two eighths plus two and seven eighths because that won't change. Okay, now taking my whole numbers. Adding those up. Then I just have. My denominator is eight, not three, sorry. Okay, then three plus two is five, plus seven is going to be 12. Well, 12 is bigger than eight, so eight goes into 12 one time. That's my whole number I'm adding. I would have four left over, and my denominator is eight, okay? Okay, but four goes into eight evenly. Four goes into four once and into eight twice, so that's that. Two plus one is three, plus two is five, plus one more, six. Six and a half pounds. Okay. All right. We're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. Last lesson check of the chapter, guys. You guys can do this. Okay. Then I'm going to go down. To spiral review, okay? Juanita wrote three times 47 as three times four and three times seven. What property did she use to write the expression? Well, so all she did is she did three times 40 and three times seven, right? So she took the three and multiplied it onto 40 plus seven distributing that three onto the 40 and onto the seven. So distributive of multiplication, okay? All right, what is the value of the expression? Did anyone hesitate? I just wrote PEMDAS. Okay, I need to remember my functions and which one to do first. I have parentheses. That's going to be my first one. So I'm going to rewrite everything else. 18 minus 2 times 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, now I'm done with that. I don't have any exponents. I do have multiplication. 18 minus 2 times 7 is 14. I don't have any division. I don't have any addition. I do have subtraction and 18 minus 14, four. Okay, all right. Evan spent $15.89 on seven pounds of birdseed. How much did the birdseed cost per pound? So, I'm going to set my paper over here now. And, I'm going to do some math. Okay, so $15.89 on seven pounds of birdseed. How much did it cost per pound? Okay, so seven's not going to go into, oh, first I need to lift up my decimal. Okay, 
Seven's not going to go into one placeholder. Seven will go into 15 twice for 14. Okay, that gives me one. One is definitely smaller than seven, so I'm going to bring down my eight. Okay, seven's going to go into 18 still just two times. Two times seven is 14. Subtract, get four. Four is definitely smaller than seven, so I'm going to bring down my nine, and I know that seven times seven is. 49. Okay, so two dollars and 27 cents. Okay, write down your work, guys. It's important. Okay, all right. Cade rode one and three fifths miles on Saturday and one and three quarter miles on Sunday. How far did he ride on the two days? So one and three fifths and one and three quarters. Well, he's been taken off. Our whole numbers. Now I just have three fifths and three quarters. Okay, common denominator of five and four is going to be 20. Okay, in order to get from five to 20, I have to multiply by four, multiply by four, so I'm going to have 12. Okay, in order to get from four to 20, I have to multiply by five, multiply by five, I have 15. Okay, Denominator stays 20, and 12 plus 15 is 27. Well, 27 over 20, we can't do. So 20 goes into 27 one time. I would have 7 left over, and my denominator stays 20. So when I add up my whole numbers, 3 and 7 twentieths, and it says miles. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for chapter six. Come back for chapter seven. See you soon.